Alrighty, Shaw C. Gunner here again today. Um, as you can see, I have my Ruger GP100 on the bench. Uh, so what's 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 going on today? <laughs> uh, basically, uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of talk about these new sights I got. Uh, these are by Williams Gun Sight Company. Uh, they're the Fire Sights brand. They have a couple different models, um, you know, or different types of uh, sight variations. For the GP100, this is the only thing that they have. Uh, but these are an adjustable sight. Uh, if you don't know much about Williams Gun Sight, they are out of uh, Davison, Michigan. Uh, I'm Shawasi Gunner, so uh, Shawasi is also in Michigan, basically just a county away. So uh, pretty, uh, you know, local to me anyways. Uh, they do work with Ruger, uh, and you can get this on, you know, some Ruger products, uh, you know, OEM, like that they're sold that way. Uh, you can also buy these, actually these on their website. I ended up getting these on Midway USA, um, but uh, they're, you know, about the same price everywhere you look, about $55 or so, give or take. Um, so I'm going to go ahead real quick and show the uh, stock sights here. Uh, on the regular GP100 sights, you have a blacked out front post uh, with some serrations, as you can see. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, not focusing on it, but so front post or blacked out front post, and then on the rear you have this adjustable rear white outlined kind of gold post, kind of like a Glock in a way, actually. Uh, granted, this, <laughs> you know, it, what came first? I guess I can't really say for sure, but uh, not a bad sight picture. Uh, but I was really looking forward to uh, getting something with a little bit better visibility. Not for a lack of me uh, not having, you know, the ability to see the sights, but mainly just, you know, low light conditions. Uh, if I were to take this out hunting or, you know, the such, uh, or even in self-defense situations, uh, these sights do provide a heck of a lot more visibility. Uh, so they are a fiber optic sight, as you can see, just the fiber optic inlaid there, uh, and they are aluminum. So... Again, adjustable, but pretty nice looking sights. Uh, they're not real hard to go ahead and put in. Um, I'm going to just go off camera real quick and get them installed on the revolver and then have a few comments about it after that. So I'll be right back. Right, uh, one thing I want to know, I'm in the middle of installing, <laughs> but you do need to reuse from the old sights uh, the screw here on the rear sight as well as the springs already got placed in there in the new site. So you have to reuse those, uh, not a big deal. You're just taking from one to the other. Uh, but just thought I should note that just in case. Uh, so don't lose this. Uh, as well as, you know, you need to reuse the roll pin for the rear site. But I'll be right back with the, the final product. Alrighty, uh, back here again. As you can see, I got the sights fully installed on the GP100. Um, pretty good sight picture there, very highly visible. Uh, I'm in a low light, you know, basement right now. I uh, just got a little bit of a compact fluorescent up above me. Uh, so definitely these are picking up the light pretty good. Um, one thing uh, I can know is definitely save your old ones. Uh, I'm going to keep them in the box here and put them on the shelf. Because uh, one problem that may potentially happen with any fiber optic sight is you know, if you drop it, uh, these could become brittle or come loose. You can exchange the fiber optics. You can buy new pieces like this, heat them up and get them to fit. But... Um, just always keep them on standby, really. I mean, if something were to happen to them. But that being said, a lot of manufacturers go ahead and put these on from the factory. Uh, Ruger does some models with that as well. I believe their Match GP100 comes with a high-vis sight, uh, which, again, is another option if you're looking for getting some new sights for your GP100. Uh, those are just the uh, front sight for a little extra visibility, but I definitely wanted to give these ones a try. Uh, you get that three-dot picture. Um, and it's highly visible all the way around. So, uh, yeah, I mean, very simple to install. Uh, you know, it's just knocking out or pushing this punch in, lifting out that front sight and uh, knocking out this roll pin here and removing the screw for the elevation. Uh, it's a little bit of a bear getting these links lined up, but uh, one thing I found that worked was using like a small finish nail pushing it through to hold it, and then starting the roll pin on that. Uh, that definitely speeds things up. So, uh, but yeah, uh, I think they look great on there. 
Uh, I think they'll work very well. Uh, as always, I'll be sure to post if there's any issues in the future. Uh, don't foresee that. Uh, Williams is a pretty well-known uh, manufacturer of sights. Uh, they make a lot of different types for different guns. Uh, you know, I'm not really speaking for them in any terms, uh, but I did buy this revolver from them. Pretty decent store to work with, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I kind of want to get the sights that match, you know, where I got it. So that's kind of where uh, I'm at with it. Uh, but yeah, I think they look great and I think they'll work well for me. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think and uh, stay tuned for updates and everything in the future. So, all right, take it easy.